Hey, in this video, I'll be showing you how to set up Google Gemini on your Samsung Galaxy smartwatch, plus some of the best prompts that you can try right now. I'm Paul, and this is Setup Essentials, the series where we help you get the most out of your tech. Today is all about using Gemini from your wrist, so let's get started. Before I take you through the features of Gemini on Galaxy Watch, we need to talk about compatibility. Out of the box, the Galaxy Watch 8, which I have right here, supports Gemini on the wrist, thanks to One UI 8 watch software. But if you're rocking an older Galaxy Watch, don't worry because One UI 8 is also available on older generation devices that support Wear OS 4 or newer. This includes the Galaxy Watch Ultra, the Galaxy Watch 7, the Galaxy Watch 6, and the Galaxy Watch 5. But just so you know, Samsung software updates roll out a little bit more gradually. So depending on when you're watching this video, you may or may not have access to those updates yet. If you have one of those compatible devices, but you're still not seeing the update, make sure to save this video and come back when you finally get One UI 8 installed on your device so you don't miss out on all the Gemini features that I'm going over. All right, so if you're ready and you have One UI 8 installed, here's how you can set up Gemini on your Galaxy Watch. First, swipe up on the display to access the app menu and then open settings. Scroll down and open Google, then click on the digital assistant. If you're not already signed into your Google account, you'll be prompted to sign in using your paired phone. As a quick note, you will need to have your phone nearby if this is your first time using Gemini on your Galaxy Watch. You'll just be taken through a couple prompts to tap through, but then you'll be good to move on. Back under the digital assistant tab, you have a toggle for Hey Google, which lets you activate the assistant with your voice. Hey Google, what's the weather today? New York, it'll be sunny with a high of 90 and a low of 74. You can also toggle it with a press and hold, which by default is going to be your top home button. If you want to assign a different button to Gemini, you can change this by going into buttons and gestures from the main settings menu. Going back to Google settings, you can also toggle the Gemini voice on or off. When it's on, answers will play out loud through the speakers. But if you prefer reading responses, you can turn this off completely. And speaking of turning off, you can completely turn off Google Gemini from your Galaxy Watch if you decide that's just not for you. Honestly, a lot of you may prefer having a Galaxy Watch that's more focused on fitness and notifications. I get that. Just keep in mind that the watch will now default to Bixby, which, if we're being honest, isn't that great. And if you've made it this far into the video and you found it helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more Setup Essential walkthroughs. So now that I've shown you how to get Gemini set up, I'm going to take you through some of the things that you can use Gemini on Galaxy Watch 4 right from your wrist. So with Gemini ready to go on my Galaxy Watch 8, what can I ask it? If you're already familiar with Gemini from another device like a smartphone, the experience is gonna be very similar, but let me give you some of my favorite prompts that I've been using. Tell me some good news. Add a meeting to your calendar. Set a calendar reminder at 5 p.m. tonight to review the new Sony camera. You can get information on landmarks. What are some nearby landmarks? or directions based on where you're located. Give me walking directions to the High Line. Get help creating a playlist for your next run. Create a email punk running playlist. Ask it about the contents of your fridge. Are tomatoes safe to feed to cats? Where to find good places to eat nearby? What are some nearby taco restaurants? Or if you're feeling adventurous, combine multiple tasks into one, also known as multimodal prompts. What's the weather tomorrow and how is Nvidia stock doing today? So as you can tell, Gemini is a direct link to most of your Google apps, including Maps, Calendar, Mail, and YouTube Music. And it also has integration with third-party ones like Spotify and WhatsApp if you want to use those as well. Altogether, this feels very integrated with Gemini on your phone, but my favorite part is you don't actually need to have your phone actively connected for these features to work. So long as the Galaxy Watch is online via Wi-Fi or LTE, you can access Gemini even if your phone isn't in Bluetooth range, making it even more useful on its own. 
And that's really all there is to setting up and using Gemini on the Samsung Galaxy Watch 8 or other supported models. If you've already had the chance to play around with it, go ahead and let me know your favorite prompts in the comments so that I can try them out for myself. And of course, if you found this video helpful, make sure to stay subscribed so you don't miss another set of essential or review on other popular devices. You can find us everywhere at Tom's Guide and you can follow me to see what other cool tech I'm reviewing. Until the next one, I'll catch you later.